This is comedy. Uh, this weather system is accurate. 34, maybe it's 34. It says sunshine. Usually it's saying a thunderstorm or some rain, but guess what? It's always opposite of what it really is doing. This morning, we actually have a couple of snowflakes in the air. Can you see them, Rex? <laughs> uh oh, I forgot to tie Rex up. I'm in trouble. Anyhow, this little band of snow, it's been documented coming down from Gloucester and then through Saga, so now it's in Weymouth. Uh, it is day 17 in a row with snow somewhere in New England. 23 days if you count Mount Washington. Burlington, Vermont is in the zone this morning. Uh, we're just getting this little flurry. It just keeps finding a way to snow. This is that backdoor warm front that you're probably tired of me talking about now. But this morning in Caribou, Maine, it was 36 while Block Island was 30. So that's warmer air coming down from the north. Warm air rides over the top of cold air and you get these uh, perturbations coming through here. That perturbation yesterday at Stowe and Jay was relentless. Five inches of snow in the Northern Green Mountains where at Mount Mansfield, it was so windy, they had to shut lifts. Here's a view from Buffalo weather in Buffalo, New York, skiing backwards thanks to wind power at the same time, Mount Washington was nine miles per hour. Oh, we actually have some flakes we can document right now. It actually snowed a little bit yesterday at the end of the day. So here at Weymouth, it's the second day in a row of snow. We probably had about seven or eight days in the last couple of weeks and nothing on the ground. <laughs> a lot of people don't complain when that happens. Let's look the other way. What's going on over here? You can see the blue sky still sunny over there just at blue hill snow is just arriving so it's going to go in the book as a trace of snow today all right the the weather story is is complex uh, you know to get warmer air coming in from southeastern canada and now it's going to turn a little colder in southeastern canada and we're tracking a storm crossing the country this one is in the middle of the nation look at that there keeps finding a way to put some colors there in new england with this front that's just kind of stalling out over us but anyhow right in the middle of the nation uh, that weather system is going to come right up into new york and then redevelop south of new england it looks like most of us are going to miss a weekend nor'easter but it's not a complete miss uh, we're going to have wind coming in off the ocean here in southern new england the latest nam does bring a band of snow pretty hefty snow into southern new england friday night and there'll probably be snow in the air in southern New England, sun out in northern New England, as the ocean storm ramps up. Real powerhouse of a storm, uh, but far enough south that it's mostly over the ocean. So it's Wednesday, you have to make that call. We're making it. Listening to the birds, sights and sounds. The ferry. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you with some at the end of this, uh, scenes from where that ferry loads and unloads. I just couldn't believe the traffic jam. People are going back to the office, it appears. Boy, I will never miss that. I hope I never have to do that again. <laughs> Support your local weatherman. This is gonna be a pay site at some point here. Where's that bird? You hear him? No, Tim, all we hear is wind. <laughs> Sorry. But there's another storm brewing and all the guidance agrees that there's gonna be another storm coming in Monday. Let's take the Euro. We've been watching the Euro for consistency even though 10 days ago it said this week was gonna be warm. It blew that. Uh, but anyhow, we watch it for consistency and usually it is a pretty superior guidance. And the fact that it only goes out 10 days, you're gonna make less of an error not going out 16 days like the GFS. But anyhow, here's the Euro next week. Boom, 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 loop, boom. That's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, nor'easter next week, a multi-day nor'easter. All the guidance has it. The Euro is the warmest and the farthest north and west. So somebody in New England next week, it's another one to two feet of snow. Are we gonna keep this streak going every day? Is it gonna snow somewhere in New England? I don't know, maybe not Sunday. I think I said that last week too, but Day 17, how about the big picture of the continent? Uh, 
no, the Pacific Ocean, yeah. California, a lot of people headed to California, if they can make it, if we can make it. One storm coming in from the north. Another one coming in from the south. So we've got the Arctic connection and the subtropical connection. So we're gonna have incredible amounts of snow. We may break the record for the snowiest winter on record at Donner Pass next week, and I may be there to document it. And then uh, it gets warm, and then it gets cold again. More cold storms again next week. One into Southern California, just relentless. And I wanted to show you the, uh, the purple blob in Canada, kind of milling around. It's warmed up in Eastern Canada, but it's gonna get colder again. And it's just such an expansive area of cold and storms coming in off the Pacific. So it's gonna stay action packed here through the middle and second, uh, well, second and third thirds of March. <laughs> We're in the second third of March, right? Yeah, all right, Tim. <laughs> I think you've talked yourself into a knot here. All right, I'll leave you with some uh, confounding traffic yesterday. I was in no hurry though, thanks to Chuck Nolan. Oh yeah, Chuck Nolan says, uh, the clocks go back this weekend, adjust accordingly. No, forward, fall back, spring ahead. Spring ahead. Uh, but there's no spring weather. And then he joked about, there's a snowstorm in the forecast. Yeah, there's several of them. Day 17, talk to you later. I don't know what's going on. Big day for the commuter. Very, I guess. I've never seen a traffic jam like this at the shipyard before. I don't care. We're listening to Live at Five. Chuck Nolan. It's all good, huh, T-Rex? I'm not trying to escape. I'm just going to pick up my laundry. <laughs> Get the big boys ready just in case it ever snows this winter, spring. Yeah, they have a stop sign too. There's a line here too, but can you see the snowflakes? It's actually snowing out of this sky. 16th day in a row with snow in New England. You say something? I heard something. It is most assuredly snowing here. Out of a barely cloudy sky. Hello. Haven't been to the dog park in a while. For the warmer months. On the day of the full moon, the tide is high at noon and midnight. So that makes it low at sunrise and sunset. Brisk. <laughs> Technically, it's a warm front coming at us from the north, but we're on the cold side of the warm front. Millions of tiny snowflakes that you cannot even see. I'm just gonna take my word for it. There's actually some snow blowing on the road. Can you see it? Just click listen approve. No, you can't. Can you? It's a fast, cost-effective way to reach your customers wherever they're listening to the music. Wasn't snowing, would be able to see.